So Bell now looks in. The 3 2 swing and a miss, strike three. Tessito not wasting a lot of time. She's ready for the next pitch. Here's a 3 2 swing and a miss for Bradich. So strikeout number seven for Tessito. Tessito ready again. One down. Here's the 1 2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. But as it stands, the count's three and two, and here's the pitch. Cito taking something off that pitch, dropped right over the outside corner, strike three. So Valpo beats Youngstown State. Swing and a miss, strike three for Jacqueline Grimm. Tess Cito, her 11th strikeout of the game, retires the side for Cleveland State here in the top of the fourth inning. She gets that one pretty well in the left field over the head of McCall Shepard and Lauren Moore cruises into second base for a double, the first hit of the game. Cito 0 1. Looks in, winds, fires, swung on and pops straight up. Infielders chasing. And three or four of them converge, and Dara Toman ends up with the ball for out number two. Lally, the right hander. 0-2, rips it straight back to Tessito, who catches the ball for out number three. Gardner, the left-hander, lines and fires. That ball is hit high and deep into left field. If it's fair, it's way out of here, and it is. So Amy Powell got the secret sign from Angie Nicholson down at third and pounded that pitch way out of here. In the left field, Amy Powell with her second home run of the season in displeasure. But now 1-2, two, took something off. It's swinging a miss. Strike three, game over. Jenna Grimm strikes out. Nobody reaches base here in the top of the seventh inning, and the Cleveland State University Vikings come away with the victory. So Gardner with the 0-1 to Burt. Burt loops it over the third baseman's head. But shortstop able to catch it on the fly, and she sl slings it over to first base, and they get Tessito and double her up. She winds in the 1-1, and that one is ripped into center field for a base hit. They're going to send the runner, and here comes Nichols. She dives the tag. She is out. Wow, great throw. And that was Kayla Allred, excuse me, getting gunned down at home. But a great throw by Andreessen. And, and Arsenault looking for the answer. This time grounds it over to third base. And that was Gillian. And a nice stretch by Dara Toman at first to get out number two. Gillian. And that pitch is hit pretty well into right center field. And that was Nichols going back. And she's able to retire that for the first out. All against Tess Cito, who has been the only pitcher Cleveland State has sent to the circle today. And this one is ripped in a center field. It's going to find some green for a base hit. Arsenault is going to round first and head into second with an easy double. So is Zaworski in the box. Here's the pitch. That one is bunted down the first base line. Caught by Toman and flipped back to Powell for the out at home. Great play. Gabby Gillian batting with the bases loaded, two down. Tie game here in the bottom of the 10th. And she hits this one right up the middle into center field for a base hit. Coming around to score is Farrow, and Cleveland State wins this game in dramatic fashion in extra innings. Gabby Gillian with the game-winning walk-off single to give Cleveland State the 1-0 victory.